In this model and tip, I want to share with you something I've been doing for quite a while. And I have a name for it and I call it model and graveyard. And it's a way for me to experiment, to test and to model things a lot quicker without having to be afraid of making significant changes to something or trying something new or maybe experimenting to a point where I want to see if something works a lot better or maybe I want to significantly change the model without having to be afraid of losing the work or going too far. So what I do is during modeling throughout whenever I make significant changes or I want to experiment something and try something new, I basically take a mesh and I duplicate it and I duplicate it, move it off to the side. So I always have a copy right before I do something drastic to it. I also do this throughout the entire process as I model and that way you can see different variations from beginning all the way to the end. So here's what it looks like. If I come over to the side, I have just a row of all the different phases during my modeling process from the very beginning to almost the very end and different versions in between. Now I always also save additional versions of this so I don't keep everything within one file. I do have multiple versions that I save over so in case one crashes I'm able to pull back and find a different version of it. But I really like using this method more so than just having to save a different version and then working with the same one model inside the scene. This way I can, I mean, at any time that I mess up, I can just delete it and bring back a previous version and then continue working. And this is great because I'm not afraid to really experiment and push something because I know the previous iteration is right next to me and I can just grab it, maybe duplicate it and then just move it back to uh, the world origin. Because I make sure I freeze transformations before I move it and I always have another version to come back to and continue experimenting more. If something didn't work, no big deal. I'll just go over there and bring the previous one back. And here is another example of a different scene, a retro TV. Here's a TV that I used. I'm going to push it back. Let me grab everything. And I have the modeling graveyard off to the side. And different tests, different variations, experimentations, and process from beginning to all the way to the end. And different parts of the model as well. So they're not all the same. Uh, they kind of go through the process from start to finish. And you can see I did a lot of tests for the back. And I wasn't afraid to test things out because I knew I could just duplicate it, bring it back. And the important part to this method is always right before you duplicate the mesh to move it off to the side to keep it for ability for you to bring it back. Just make sure you freeze transformations so you can bring it back to the world origin. So for any of these meshes, I can just go ahead and zero the translation and it's back in world origin for me to continue working. And this applies to any mesh that I select. Just zero things out and continue working on it. So I highly recommend you use this approach. Start duplicating things off. Anytime you make significant changes, you want to try something out or you want to experiment and push something and see if it works. Duplicate it, move it off to the side and do what you need to do to the model in the world origin. Doesn't work? Delete it, bring that one back and continue. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Now go try it out.